was surprised because I didn't think they were going to come back on even though we know they needed help. But they went on there and needed help but didn't want the help that you gave them the first time so I don't know why they're back for the second time for the same issue. Um, so it starts off with Nephi being late again and tell mom she learned and all this stuff that she learned for the last time and then she's taking medicine. Cool, fine. Then she's saying, well, she's taking medicine, that she need medication, but she don't want to take it because she don't like how it makes her feel. And I'm like, really? Like, so you're bipolar, but you don't want to take medicine, but you wonder why you still acting like that. Hmm, whatever. And then, so well, he's pretty much, you know, just quiet and whatever. And then, so, they want to ask her, so what, so what you do with the scholarship I gave you? It's like a woman's retreat, something to help her uh, get herself together. She didn't take it. She didn't do the homework on the gave her, nothing. She just, just showing up. You know, I had time to get her makeup done, didn't have time to do all this other stuff. And I'm trying to figure out, it's been like a year or two. Like, she could have been did something. Um, then she told me she went to a therapist. You go to a therapist. But then the therapist tell you that you need medication and you don't go take it. Okay, so that's defeating the whole purpose on it. And then, so they get to Solo. And he's telling his boy. Here comes Nephi. Doing Nephi. Oh, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. Ah. This is ridiculous. I'm ah. out of here. And I don't like, mind your business. Ah. Mind your business. Because that's what you need. Ah. Minding your damn business. And then so she going back up, up. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. I'm like, what? Well, didn't you come here for help? You didn't take the help the first time. Then you're ready to go every time something get hurt. And he ain't even talking to you. So like, you know. So they was irritating her, and she was just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm going home. And he did a little drone thing, show her that she was leaving or whatever. <clears throat> they come back the next day, and then the nephew's on the same day. She does. Oh, you know what? I had time to think that I've gotten myself together. See, that's where I pulled it. Shit, like one minute. Call him next minute, you just right off the rocket, and then so so still talking. I'm calling her massa, and they irritated me on it. She said, No, you're not supposed to call her over the massa. But each of them they had problems. He started off with a man who wasn't saying nothing, let nothing do what she wanted, gave himself a damn heart attack. Then he come back, they go down and go back, and he's still doing the same shit. And I'm putting you, I just don't think she can handle him saying what the hell he want to say, but whatever to each his own. Um, so then they talking about, um, you know, her in a goddamn braid. That braid irritated me for like 20 seconds because I was on the phone with my friend Courtney watching the damn show. And that damn braid she had, it was just sticking out the damn side, just sticking out the damn side. You were about to so fix that goddamn braid. So, mind you, they, they finish on one. Um, so Ayana told them, you know. I can't help you because you can't help yourself until you deal with the fact that you have bipolar and get medication to actually help you cope with it. I can't help you because I'm a life coach. I'm not a psychiatric doctor that can prescribe you medication. I'm a life coach. It's two different things. Um, so I really feel like she just wanted to for TV, but whatever. Um, so, you know, she do them separately and then she go back and she talks to... Solo. So we like so so we like Shelby or whatever, but we try to figure out why is it that like he's staying. Like he already saying he's not giving her none, they not together. But when she said and she was in a restaurant drunk because she'd been drinking, that she'll suck another man dick from some text message that some guy sent her. Like, is it me or was it someone sends you a text message like I never got a text message from my husband that just made me go like, hmm, I can't wait till he get home so I can just suck his dick. I don't know what type of shit that is, but it's just not me. So he got mad and they got the fussing or whatever, but whatever. I just felt like she was just saying it to get his attention. Because there's no text message in the world that's going to make me be like, ooh, I, you know, I, I just want to suck his dick from some man I'm not even with. I'm just saying, that's just not even, not even logical. So, Ayanna start talking to Shelby like, you know, why are you getting her so upset? Like, if you're not giving her none, you don't want to be with her, then why are you he's talking about he just staying there for the kids so he can get yourself together? Nigga, go rent a room and get yourself together. You work, you paying the bills. Go rent yourself a room or apartment. You can still go be there in the morning, make sure your kids are off to school, pick them up from school, spend time with them. There's a ways of co-parenting. I co-parent. There's a ways of doing that. You do not have to stay in a bitch house. And then y'all barely can afford to pay the bills. 
So technically, she using you to pay the bills while she go out and suck up niggas dick. Like, I'm just confused there. Like, whatever. Like, that's just a disaster waiting to happen. So, I don't know, like, why do you keep letting her do that? Like, if you keep saying you want you want to be happy, but you don't want to be with her, but then why are you staying in the house with her? They don't want to talk to you any type of way, and then you're dealing with it, but you're standing for the kids. That just makes no sense. Because all you're doing is just letting the kids see how dysfunctional you two are. Like, the kids really want suffering because they don't want in it. So, I'm like, well... You know, I just felt like they just doing it for television. Because, so you want to have another heart attack or a stroke or something like that. Like, you just, you know, you just want the drama and intensity. Like, it's no way I'm going to be with a person who bipolar who don't want to take their mess. I don't know what the hell I'm coming home to. But I'm doing it for the kids. No. They're not Tara and Peter. Like, what the hell is this? Everybody now doing it for the kids? Like, no. It's just not. You can co-parent. Go get an apartment. You guys live in Atlanta. It's affordable in Atlanta. Go get your ass an apartment because you're paying for her house. No, let her get a damn job. Pay for her own damn house. You get an apartment. You pay for your house. You can still, you know, help her with the kids or whatever. Pay child for whatever the case may be or work out whatever little agreement. You don't have to stay in the house with the mind. I just feel like it was just retarded. So, and I'm just telling them she can't help me one of them because neither one of them really want to help. Because she sent them home the first time with homework. They didn't do it. They didn't complete nothing, but they back again. And she told them that she wanted nothing she could do. So then she had them sit down at the table. She made them apologize to each other. She put dirt in one cup, dirt in another cup, made them pour it in and told them that's what their marriage is and that's what the kids are saying. Because each of them had their own problems before they came in. So two people coming in with problems, added more problems on to that problem, and then just, it was just a clusterfuck. So, I mean, I really I really enjoyed the first episode. It really was not bad. Um, because you could see, like, it's the same same nephew, like same nephew from fucking years ago. Like it ain't shit changed. You get on television, you say one thing, and you go back to another. Like the only thing changed it. Now we know she bipolar. I mean, we knew she bipolar from her actions, but now she's diagnosed. But she need to take a damn medicine. Um. Only other thing is that Shelby now he's speaking up for herself, which is I mean it's I mean I guess it's fine because he should have been doing it a long time ago. I don't think that's I think that's why she can't deal with it. Um, I can't wait to see this very next episode though, because I wonder who's going to be on it for the next episode, because it was pretty good too. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Like, I enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Um, nice Saturday to watch and binge watch it, because I love her show. I love how she just likes to get them together. But it was like, some people, you know, you just can't help them. She admitted it. There's nothing I can do for them. Like, they just sat in their ways and it's nothing that she can do. So, I guess I'll get to see you guys next Sunday when I watch the next one. Um, we'll come to Sunday, Saturday nights, but I probably won't record it until Sunday. So, I mean, I guess I'll talk to you guys later.